my husband and I are both, we love adventure and we love to do things that are, are sometimes risky. And, and, you know, so we know, you know, we know where the, what the bank account codes are and, and what the computer codes are and all that kind of stuff in, in case it happens because those are the things. Yes, you, in case one of us dies unexpectedly. This is part of making the most of living. And this video is part of a new campaign yeah, from Dr. Bob Camp Hospice to end the stigma of death and dying. Daniel Zuket from the hospice joins us now more with stories of the time in between. And I got to say, I really enjoyed <laughs> As morbid as it may sound, I really enjoyed being part of this campaign. Oh, we are um, really grateful to have you be a part of it. We're really excited about it. So, so tell me how it, I, uh, this is several, several months in the making because we, we had, we worked with photographers or a number of us involved here. We worked with photographers to kind of um, create the image of how we want our life to live or how we want our, that time to be spent. And there was going to be a big gallery opening at the art gallery mm. and then the pandemic hit. That's right. So we are now taking this uh, exhibit virtually. So we are, we're going to have a virtual um, exhibit on April the 1st. And we have brought together 10 local celebrities across uh, the Hamilton region. And we brought them together um, to talk about what's important to them and, and how they want to be remembered. Right. And this is all kind of edging towards the hospice's plan of advanced care planning, right? That's right. That's right. One of our uh, team members really articulated recently that, you know, we live in a, a death avoidant society. Um, you know, talking about death is taboo. And what we're really trying to accomplish with, with this exhibit is to really hope, we hope to inspire people to talk about their own stories and, and tell their loved ones what's important to them and, and have these conversations earlier. Mm -hmm. Because that must be uh, with a lot of your patients that come into the hospice. Is that kind of, you know, I do you hear a lot of with families, oh, we wish we had done something earlier. We wish we'd have talked about plans before. There must be a lot of looking back at that. So often conversations aren't had and you know, that's a, when you get to this stage and, and we talk about planning throughout our whole lives. You know, we, we plan the, the birth of a child, we plan uh, an anniversary, a birthday, yet we don't want to talk about, you know, the, the other pieces of, of our journey. And, and the reality is 100% of us are going to get there. So why not have that conversation and, and let people know what is in, what is truly important to you? Mm -hmm. Because I have to say, I visited the hospice a number of times, and and death, you make death a beautiful thing. It's, it's, it's an odd thing to say, but you hear so many families who are given great comfort. Well, we believe here that all aspects of life should be celebrated in whatever, whatever form, shape, whatever they look like. And the end of life deserves as much dignity and planning as, as any part of it. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, a, a lot of times we, we just don't want to talk about it because it's uncomfortable. So it's like we'll deal with it when we get there, if, you know, if we get there. Um, well, and, that's right. Oh, and I yeah. think especially amidst the pandemic, it's really brought it to mm -hmm. the forefront where having these conversations are so important. We don't know what tomorrow will bring. Right. We don't know what tomorrow will bring. And, and so often we think we know what our loved ones may want. But do we really if we haven't had the conversations? <laughs> right, right. And those conversations we hope will get sparked with the exhibit that's going to have its virtual opening on April 1st. Um, right. Still from the art gallery, but we're just not all there in person, right? So that's you can get right. tickets. Uh, so that's the website there. We'll also put this link up on our website at chch.com. It's stories of the time in between. And Danielle, I got to thank you again uh, and, and the many colleagues that I worked with as well on this project because it, it was really an eye-opener for me and it prepares me better I think well thank you for being a part of it we're really excited for April 1st okay again we'll put that information up on our website thanks very much for joining us today thank you